The Cassini-Huygens mission made so many historic discoveries. Think about it. The Huygens probe sent back details of an alien world on Titan, a world that appears to be very similar to Earth. It found jets spraying water, ice, and organics from the south pole of Enceladus, revealing an interior ocean where there could be life. Over and over again, the mission revealed scientific wonders about Saturn, its rings and moons, and it hasn't stopped, at least not yet. With me now is Cassini Project scientist Linda Spilker. This mission was determined to send down science right down to the very end. That's right, Gay, till the very last second. So Earl told us just a little while ago that overnight, the spacecraft sent back uh, the last picture show, it's been called. Can you describe what those are? Okay, well, let's go to the very first image, image A, as part of the last picture show. The first thing we did is we made a color mosaic, and these are just a couple of pictures from that mosaic. We'll stitch those together and have a beautiful image of Saturn plus the rings for the last time. If we go to image uh, C, uh, that's a movie of Enceladus actually setting behind the limb of Saturn. And explain to me how the team decided to come up with this imagery in this selection. Well, there's a lot of science in these images, so we wanted to do science. Oh, there's Enceladus setting behind the limb of Saturn, so we're saying goodbye to Enceladus and taking a last look at that particular world. And so we wanted to sort of do a survey, look at each of these key targets, collect picture postcards for our Cassini scrapbook. So these will be the last pictures that we'll put in our scrapbook. If we look at image D, that's a, a true color image of Titan. Oh, okay. And you can see the lakes up in the north. Uh, image F shows this in false color. There's a UV filter as part of image F, and the lakes really pop out. And you can also see that bluish haze at the edge of Titan. You know, Titan has this thick nitrogen atmosphere. Well, we also took some pictures of the rings, Gay. If we go to image G, uh, we're looking for propellers in this particular image. And you can just see a hint of it above that dark gap. If we go to image H, that's a blow up. And see that little two-armed propeller? It's that little bright feature just above the dark gap. There's a, a collection of ring particles that are large enough. They're trying to open their own gap. And they create what looks like an airplane propeller. And they have fun names, names of aviators. If we go to image I, that was part of the sequence. Uh, we're looking at t the tiny moon Daphnis. That's the Keeler gap. And you can see those crinkly edges along the gap. That's created by Daphnis awake as it goes through that system. And you can see the beautiful density waves, the interaction between the rings and the satellites, also as those bright features in our last uh, look at the propellers. And finally, image J. Uh, this is an image looking at Saturn in a place where a Cassini will be entering. So one of our uh, last views, our very last pictures of Saturn. And you can think of Cassini as basically running a marathon. For 13 years, we've been running a marathon of scientific discovery. And we're on the last lap. And so we're here today to cheer as Cassini finishes that race.